question 22. 22 is supposed to be B, but anyway, let's see. If the number X is such that X is between 60 and 80, then the square root of X lies between. All right. I think there is some issue with this question, but anyway, let's look at it. The square root of X lies between what? If we have the square root of 60, the square root of X is be the number X between this and this square root. That means the square root of X is between the square root of 60 and the square root of 80. Now, it's between, first of all, square root of 60 is some messy type of number. Let's use a clean, clean number. X is between 60 and 80. So you have to go up 60, one, square root of 61, 62, square, no. X is larger than 60. So you'd have to go, say 64. 64. Let's try the square root of 64, which is 8. It is between 8 and... There's no equal to sign. Let's see. All right. It's between 8 and... It's less than 80. So we go down to square root of... We want a number less than 80 where we can easily find in the answer. Square root of, you know, 8864, If we go down to 64, we would go back to this. So, the square root of 60. Is going to be seven seven five. It's seven point something. Seven point a lot. Square root of eighty is uh, going to be eight point something. All right, it's eight point something. What is close to nine? Let's call this eight point nine and let's call this seven seven forty nine eight eight sixty four. Mm. It's close to eight. Call it 7.9. Now, between 7 and 9, it's higher than 7. It's not going to be 8 point something. Well, could be, but 7, 7 is 49, 8, 8, 64. It's 7 point a lot to 8 point a lot. It's going to be between. 7 and 9 because what you have here if I should consider 8, 8, 64, 9, 9, 81 it's between 8 and 9 but can you go smaller than 8? you're going to be 7 something so it's between 7 and 9. I guess this is the best answer. B is the best answer that you could um, choose. Right? Well, let's use a calculator and see the exact values. What they're talking about here. Oh no. The calculator that I want. So... You have square root of 60 is equal to 7.74 and the square root of 80 is equal to 8.9. So 7 point a lot and 8 point a lot. 
right? So it's between seven and nine, you would say. But anyway, this is this question is a little bit messy. But let's so twenty two. Say so twenty two is B. Let's move on. To question twenty three. Twenty three says Yeah, 23 says the price of all goods in a store were marked up by 20%. So you have an increase. They go up by 20%. Good. During a sale, a 20% discount on the marked prices was given. So then that price went down by 20%. Did, how did the final mark compare to the price before marked up? A, they were the same. B, the final price was more than the original price. C, the final price was less than the original price. E, enough information was not given to decide. Alright, let's see. The goods, whatever they are, they were increased by 20%. Then that new price was dropped by 20% you are increasing a low price and then you have a high price you, you add 20% to a low price you have a high price then 20% of that high price would be a bigger number <coughs> bigger number dropped off than the original you can see that the price would be lower. The final price was less. I'm saying that 23 is C. Let's look at it and then you use an example. So 23 C. By arguing it out, 23 would be C. Because you have a small number, add 20% to it. 20% of that number is a small number. You get a big number when you add it. 20% of a big number is a bigger number than the original. So let's let's look at it. Suppose the prices were the price of an article was one hundred dollars. Then you jump it up by twenty percent. What you have is one hundred and twenty dollars. You see that? Twenty percent of a hundred is twenty. When you add 20 to it, you get 120. Now, you drop 20% of this off. What is 20% of 120? It's 20% 20 of 120. Cancel down 0, 0, 0, 22 by 12, 24. So, 120 minus 24. So, 120 minus 24, it would be minus 20, you get 20 flat, 4 more, 96. 96. So the final price was less than the original price. Alright? When you think about it. So, just because you increase it by 20%, then drop 20% off, doesn't mean they were the same. The first twenty percent was a smaller number. You find twenty you increase you add on twenty percent of a large number. That's a certain amount. When you drop twenty percent of that larger number, twenty percent of a bigger number is a going to be bigger. It's a bigger percentage in terms of the value. It's a bigger value, you're dropping off, alright? So this example would show it. Alright. Now. Let's look at what 24 says. Question 24. Oh, we have 24 and 25. 
refer to the information here. A dice tossed 10 times and the score is recorded as shown in the table. Score. These are the scores. These are what would show up on the die. This is a frequency, meaning how many of them. So you one shows one time, two showed four times, three showed one time, four didn't show at all, five showed three times, six showed one time. All right. The median score is the median. Now remember, the median is the value in the middle after you arrange everything in ascending order or descending order. If there's an even number of them, of course, there will be two in the middle. But let's see what happens here. The total frequency, 4, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 occurrences. Frequency means how frequent. So you had here the median score, 1, 4, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, you have to think about how these numbers were generated. What happened here is that you had one, two occurred four times. So you had two, 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 two. Three occurred one time. So you had three. Four occurred zero times. So you have no four. Then you have five, three times. You have five, five, five. Then six, one time. That's really what happened. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 items. Now, if you divide by 10, you get, if you divide 10 by 2, you get 5. Right? So, basically, it will be the average of the fifth and sixth number. I'm the average of the fifth and sixth score. But anyway, let's, let, let's look at these values here since we have them laid out in front of us. Let's divide this into two parts, left and right. Take one off each time on the left and the right and see which ones appear in the middle. If you take one, take off one, take off two of them, Take off three of them to the left, three to the right. Take four to the left, four to the right. Now, here, we can't take five to the left and five to the right because we wouldn't have anything in the middle. But what happened if we take off four from the left and four items from the right? We see we have two of them in the center, right? Two plus three over 2 because we have an even number of items 2 of them 2 scores here we add them and divide by 2 so we get 5 over 2 is 2.5 this is what 24 question 24 is A so in this case it's 2 oh no 24 is a 2.5 right so in so it's 2.5 now that's really what the situation is with this two point five now question twenty five says uh, the mean score is uh, the mean score Let's remove some of this thing. So you want to find out what is the mean score here. Here, if you add, if you add everything up and divide by the number of them, divide, add up all the scores, divide by the number of scores, then you get the mean. So let's see. 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Remember, I'm adding these up. 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 3, 10, 11, 12. So, all of these, they add up to 12 so far plus. Let's see these, 5 and 5 and 5, 15, 15 plus 6. So, 12 and 15 is what? 10 and 10 is 20, 5 and 2, 7. That's 27. 12 and 15 is 27. 27 plus 6 is what? 27 plus 3 plus 3. That's 33. 33. How many scrolls we have again? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 scores. Okay. So we divide 33 by 10 and we get... 3.3 .3. seems to be 3.3 .3. 25 C right that's question 25 C what let's look at this calculation again you know that there is a certain formula that says the mean which is bar x is the sum of f times x over the sum of f so if we say the sum of f times x, frequency times the score, 1 times 1 is done, plus 2 times 4 is, instead of leading out all 4 2's, we could just say 2 times 4, 2 4 is 8, plus 3 1 is 3, plus 4 0 is 0, plus 5 3 is 15, so these 5 together would give the 15, plus 616 six. Uh, and that over the sum of the frequency is 1 and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 alright so 8 and 1, 9, 10, 11, 12 12 and 15 that's 27 plus 6, 33 33 over 10 is 3.3 .3. so if it's a situation where you have much larger numbers than these you probably wouldn't be able to lay them out like this. Lay them out flat and see each number. You just have to use this formula. Right? Sometimes you just have to use this formula because the numbers are very, very large and you can't lay them out like this. So 25C. Question 25. Alright, we break at this point and continue later.